I think the pot's going to be big. I just have that feeling. All three players have pairs. That's something you don't see very often. Free flop. Button in the blinds. No! Oh! It's Claude's come. Queen, queen, house. nine. Oh, my God. Goodbye, Andrew Robo. Wow. Yeah, nice having yeah. you here. But Zero percent. It's such a hard place to Some be drawing. It's so from, hard to it? flop a full house and be, and be zero percent. It's really, really wow. hard. They're both trying to figure out how can I get all the money in. And by the way, Lewis is thinking he has to be bluffing, I right? Think. Because when you have quads, you have all cards locked up. <laughs> right. <laughs> Robo leads right out and bets a full house. Playing it like. Well, that's something I would never do in this spot to a pre-flop raiser. I let him take one stab to bluff at it. Now, obviously, Lewis is. Thinking he's died and gone to heaven here or something. He just can't believe it. But he's what's also happened. thinking it's got to be a bluff or an ace nine. It just. So you're he's just going to call. You're never yeah, gonna he's raise never going to race. He's never raising this. I mean, it would just be a horrible play. Until he's last man, last action, probably before he's going to get any bets in this pot. Yep. And he's look at him. Continue to throw the rope. <laughs> These guys are just Wait, incredible. Well, I mean, well, he's done that you. so it doesn't look. I mean, <laughs> wait, did, what are they thinking? Raised? Yeah, why do you raise there? Well, he's raised I, here. I think this is a bad play, but amazingly, it's going to be the perfect play because for, you get all the money in now. Because I got to tell Am you. Am I right? Oh. He just called. Yeah, in that because it's too big a hand. I think Robles played well, it right. Both players are liable to not even get all their chips in there. They're going to try to outslow play each other <laughs> from here out. Mike, that would be. This is unbelievable. That would be amazing. Wouldn't, wouldn't shock it? me if it goes check, check on the turn. <laughs> well, I think what's, what's clear is that both these players actually think the other guy has nothing. And kind they're of trying to <laughs> right they you know that's their positive i mean is it Robles possible? is hoping that lewis has a queen that's what he's hoping right. for but it doesn't he doesn't feel it in his bones yet so he's because there is a level here among these young guys on that paired board to the raise that you know robles trying to represent you know a lead with air and and lewis is trying like 50 or something right here well, i just can't believe he's betting his hand in case your opponent's got a straight draw, why would you wow. want to him out? Wow, Robles is thinking Christmas time, but it's not Christmas time. It's coal in the stockings time. I stole a phrase out of your book. <laughs> that was you, Jesse. I, that was you. That was you. Well, I just can't believe he's betting his hand. In case your opponent's got a straight draw, why would you wow. want to him out? Wow, Robles is thinking Christmas time, but it's not Christmas time. It's coal in the stockings time. I stole a phrase out of your book. <laughs> book. That was you, Jesse. I, that was you. That was you. Uh, Robo obviously right. trying to decide. <laughs> oh, oh, my, my God. God. That was sick. Can you believe this? Oh, my Lord. That quads is so over quads. Sick. I can't believe that. It's kind of unfair. Oh, my Lord. So now... <laughs> So now he's like, <laughs> oh my god! He's like, wow, uh, my opponent can't have queen nine. Hopefully he has queen five. You know, or well, Toby must be thinking, geez, what can this guy have <laughs> to be calling with well, all this way? One thing we know for sure, just in case he checks it, he is going to get a wager. I don't believe I've ever seen this before. I, no, my, me either. This is a first for me. Ten years of cards. <laughs> Well, he's moved all in and quickly called and let Robo turn up his hand first. Oh. Four oh. nines they against four three. Look at Timoshenko's face. <laughs> Look at Toby Lewis. Look, Look at Timoshenko. Look at Timoshenko. Look at Timoshenko. Look at Timoshenko. That might be the most weirdly played hand in history of poker. One of them, certainly. Poor. You know, the whole crowd is just completely shocked. Andrew Robo has <laughs> left the building. Well, Tomashenko has never that's seen it. it all right there. Tomashenko's face. Well, in many casinos, that would be worth a seven-figure bad beat payout. He wins quite a lot of the time. Everybody he always sounds like he's rambling, Channing, but there's always something to it. Then he flaps this. I'll be a good flop for two tens. I'll check. Check. Me too. Check. There was actually, for some reason, at this time, there was a lot of needle between Channing and Goodwin. I think they were both kind of, uh, you know, they developed a real adversary relationship in this tournament, and Goodwin wanted to beat him so bad, <laughs> and vice versa as well. It's a pretty sick turn. <laughs> Definitely going to get Goodwin into some trouble. Yeah, I don't know why he's raised here. I mean, uh, part of it might be a little bit frustration, or is it he trying to actually induce a bluff, you think? I, uh, I don't understand. Maybe the pot's just he just wants to get some more money in the pot because he's got, you know, figures Neil won't fold much, might not even fold a size, so he's just trying to get some money in the pot. 
270. Yeah. They're yeah. 20, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is like the widow spider. Channing loves this spot more than any in the world where he can just make someone squirm yeah. later on. I think everybody loves this spot, though. <laughs> <laughs> when you've got the nuts and you're getting, getting raised. This hand... Uh, I think this tournament took place like two months after Neil won the Irish Open, so he was in blinding form here. Uh, as well as Go Goodwin was, like you're saying it was as well. He had the big kind of sponsorship deal. And <laughs> I love all the, the Hollywood acting going on with Neil. All in. He raised all in. Interesting way for Neil to play this. Oh, dearie me. Okay, cool. You cool? Yeah. I'm cool. He doesn't take too much time, but what he thinks, yeah. If he's snake bit, he's snake bit, that's it, Yeah, right? yeah. It's a sick hand, really, yeah. at a final <laughs> table. That's brutal. <laughs> <laughs> so Mark kind of knew as well. Yeah, he looks he's like he's got right. six rounds here. <laughs> he plays crazy, guys. This is, uh, yeah. He reminds me of the English guy in the World Series. Surprised we don't see most to be honest. Uh, what's his name? At the hub. Uh, oh, uh, 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 Hem? John Hesp. Jesp. John Hesp. Yeah, John Noel definitely will be raising up from a lot of places you're not supposed to. But look at this. Nick with Ace King raises the button. Jake defends with Queen 8 and Ace 8 6 the flop. Jake looking to do a few chips in this pot, you'd think. 125. He's going to check or bet it. Even. He bets, but Jake is not going to give up. He's going to see a turn card. Jake also good stare down here, stares him down, and he's going to call. And then on the turn, it's going to be interesting. Nick is obviously going to bear a bet again. He's going to hit the queen first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're back again. Are we having a are we having a redraw for no, tomorrow? No, no, we keep the same place. Same same position. Same from position the... for tomorrow. Okay. And after we draw at night. Okay. Takes his so yeah, time. We're gonna, we're gonna and same, he does eventually tomorrow. make the call. Cool. Two hundred forty thousand was the bet. Ow! Uh, <laughs> Ow! Hello. What a turn for Jake. Hello, Magic Eight. And again, he's just going to check and let Nick hang himself here most of the time, right, guys? Yeah, well, I don't know if you're supposed to bet out here sometimes, maybe. How do you, how much uh, behind three million? I you think you alarm people when you bet out, or you just put a stop bet so you encourage them to race you with an ace. <laughs> yeah, but he's going like, to like let's see what like he does. This. No, he's going to make a proper yeah. bet here. He's going to encourage him. Yeah. 5.75 the bet. This is gonna up nicely for Rybyshev. This is going to get really interesting because I can see if Nick is going to uh, call here on the river. It's going to go, it's going to get expensive here. I think it's probably going to go all in because yep. it's 1.9 now in the middle yep. and 2.4 behind. There's one move for Mr. Jake Schittler. Wow! Oh, definitely. That is cutting short. Wow. <laughs> Jake looking like... Jake Schindler, runner, runner, quads. He's Nick, gonna of shop course, it now. full house now. You think he's gonna gonna get him to make an instant call here? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Check is quite risky. There's two hands he can lose from: quads or full Crushing? house aces. Other than that, he's mm -hmm. like crushing, probably. Yeah, it's I mean, if he shoves here, what's I mean? Is is checking better? If you, I mean, if you check here, you get 7, 9, yeah, and a 9, 10 float, maybe to bluff. Yeah. But you lose out on getting called by... Uh, he does move all in. You miss out on getting called by the flush and uh, the ace. And if you check, the ace might check behind. Look, he cannot go nowhere with this stack. is too small now for the pot. He think he's trying to force him out. He's... <laughs> Most times well, he does make the call. Yeah, of course. Quads yes. are usually good in the game of Texas Hold'em. In this situation, no different. GG, Yeah, good luck, boys. Jake takes out another ace king. This was the final table of. Uh, this is now the first big win she ever had, and Tony G at this final table in the World Open. and. She puts a Raise great beat you know, on. That's Johnny Houston. Johnny. Texas Johnny. <laughs>
he was a great character for a couple of years in televised poker as well. Had a bunch of success. Yeah, I played with him a few times. Pass. Seen him recently, actually, at the UK Pass. IPT. Had a drink with him. <laughs> See, like these tournaments in those days, there were so many great characters from the Midlands oh. that used to come up and play in these tournaments. That that whole scene, like. Yeah, there's definitely way more Northern and Midland players playing on the TV anyway. Look at all the characters with the cowboy hats and <laughs> the big rings and stuff. Cool. Uh, cool. I love the way Tony G sits when he plays poker. <laughs> and he just flats here, letting Pippa in, which is, I guess, pretty fine on a final yeah. like this. But it looks like a mob boss, doesn't he, the yeah. way he sits down? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I kind of feel like he was just developing his personality back in this time. These final tables were so big to him back then, you know, to try and... He hadn't really I'll had any win, big wins, Play really, at that in. stage. A bit much. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Bless <Last laughs> <second. laughs> Of course, you're all expecting... Everyone's expecting the Tony G blow up here. I think he... And a call. He gets really frustrated. Wow, oh, very good. Should have folded. Because he should have folded. I slow played him. <laughs> you always feel dumb when you slow play yeah. and they plop a better hand than you, but I think it's just a little bit unlucky. There's nothing really you can really have done differently. No. And he was ended up being the first player out on this final table after I think they one of the chip leaders. Well done. All right, Tony. Everyone. He can't even find his way out the door. He's Hold just on. stunned. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is for the people to enjoy the show, enjoy poker a bit. Like, bring back the old timers like me and have fun with the game. I know what they're doing, you know? I know what they're thinking. I've thought of everything they have. I have forgotten everything they know. <laughs> On social media, you're really unfair to a personal Oh, mate, you, and you've got the Tony Resort open to to a pillaging. Race, 225. You know you have it. You have the Tony Resort, That's unlimited okay. drinks, you have Nordas protecting you at night. Cold. And now, I don't know even that you should never drink on the job. And where's your tie? Wear your tie and be presentable. Well, okay, I came and stayed at Tony Resort and you had a key to my room. 25, yes. Yeah, but someone has to protect you. I gave you a room next to my room. Yeah, everyone's protecting you, Warren. Yeah, it's like no. yes. scratching the table. 500. 500. Just because it's one chip. And I don't even have an ace. There you go. I don't have an ace. And I, what I is it about these big game cash games that I he just seems nice to always do well, or almost nice always? Hey, Tony, yeah, he just riles people up and forces them to make big if mistakes. He's call, I know he has you know, get, puts people off the game and unsettles them, and How much has his have? own way of doing it. Uh, seven, about eight. All right. You want to do something yeah. crazy? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we know you got an ace now, but is the kicker good? Doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's one of those pots where you're going to chop. <laughs> he actually plays doing? his hand quite well, man, Davey, right? Because he knows that he's... he's Chop, chop, they say. If Tony's bluffing, he has to just call. He can't yeah, raise, of right? Course. I, I like to just call here and just hope a high card comes off and then That's try cold. and, right. you know, ship to I'm get him off the I'm going to go all in on the river, no matter what happens. There you go. That way I'm showing commitment. It doesn't really matter, does no, it? No, it would have gone. Oh, got, uh, you got to beat four sixes. Can you do that? Four <laughs> yeah, you got to beat four sixes. Can you do, beat four sixes? Wow. All right, <laughs> fold your hand. Fold it, fold it. Get rid of oh, it. Oh wow! Get rid of it. I'm not lying. Come on. Do you trust me? Fold it, please, for me. Show me some confidence. <laughs> you can't do it. It's a twenty thousand pot. He's not giving not him the player. rub down with that. <laughs> He's bet sixty thousand as yeah, well. I'm a genuine guy. Come on, I'm a standby guy. <laughs> I told you you have a dice, right? I told you all the way where we were.